Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a spring makeup tutorial. This one is going to be a very bright and colourful one. So if you'd like to see how I created this look and what products I use, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and just keep watching. Okay, so I've already done my skincare and moisturiser and all that. I just popped on some SPF underneath my moisturiser as well because I am going out today. So I just wanted to get some of that on. And I've also done my brows off camera as well because... We don't need to see me do my brows. I'm actually going to do the skin first. Well, most of the skin first, purely because the eye look we're doing isn't that tricky and it's not that messy either. It's just quite rounded off. So I'm going to do some of the face just to get something on here and then we'll go on to the eyes after. For face primer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is just really hydrating and it keeps your makeup on forever. I'm really just going to massage this into the skin and I'm going to concentrate most of the products kind of in my T-zone area where I'd usually get oily or my foundation doesn't apply as well in those areas just so that we have more primer there and it stays all day. Moving on to foundation, I am going to mix two together today purely because my skin was feeling a tiny bit dry but I did kind of want something in full coverage and matte as well. So the first foundation I'm going to go in with is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation and mine is in the shade Soft Honey. Then I'm going to mix in a bit of the Collection Illuminating Foundation and I've got the shade Cool Beige. Then to blend all that foundation in I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Sponge. For concealer I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and mine is in the shade 35. To blend out all that concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution sponge and brush. This is from their kind of cream contour kits. So I'm just going to take the brush side and start blending all this out. Then to set all that in place, I'm going to be taking the Vici Derma Blend Loose Powder. This is just like a white translucent one and I'm just going to press this under the eyes and just set down where I usually get oily throughout the day as well. I'm going to take a tiny bit of whatever's left from the loose powder and I'm just going to powder where I'm going to apply my bronzer. To prime the lids, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again, but I'm going to be using a lighter shade, so I'm going to use the shade 20 as my eyeshadow primer. Okay, so for eyeshadow, we're going to be going in with the Colourpop Yes Please palette. I'm first taking this pinky peach shade and I'm going to quite heavily build this up into the crease and this is going to be our main blending transition colour. There is a lot of back and forth with the blending of this look. We just want a nice gradient in the crease, so that's why there is a lot of back and forth with the same shades. So I'm next going to take this bright orange shade from the palette, and I'm going to use a pointed fluffy crease brush. Uh, this one's by Morphe, and I'm just going to use the tip of the brush to really concentrate this into the crease, and apply this kind of underneath the pink just so it looks like a nice gradient. I'll go back in with the pink shade and just buff out the edges around the crease. But this is just gonna make sure that there's no harsh lines with any of the blending. I'm gonna go back in again with the orange and just do the exact same thing we did before. And then back in with that pink again. The outer corner of the eye, I'm going to be using this brownie orange shade and I'm going to add a tiny bit of this red into it as well. I'm going to concentrate these kind of rounded off in the outer V of the eye and then also take it into the kind of outer half of the crease. Then moving on to the lid, I'm going to be taking this bright matte yellow from the palette and I'm just going to use a flat shader brush and just apply this all over the lid. I'm going to take this yellowy gold from the palette and I'm just going to use my finger to apply this all over the lid just on top of that matte yellow shade. Then for the kind of pop of shimmer that's on this eye, I just took this other gold from the palette and I'm going to use a bit of setting spray on top of the brush with this purely because I just want it to be really, 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 really intense. And I'm just gonna pop this right in the center of the lid. Take that gold that I used on the center of the lid. I'm gonna use this to highlight the brow bone and inner corner. To finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna go in with a liner on my bottom lash line. And I'm just gonna take this one by e.l.f. It's just a pure white one. I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line my upper lash line as well. I'm just gonna use my LA Go liner as always. For mascara, I'm just gonna go in with the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with Gilded Honey by Laura Geller and I'm just going to use it out of this highlighter palette that I've got from her. For 
forgot how much I love Gilded Honey. I think this was my favourite highlighter until the Amorese one came out. Like just of all time. So apart from that, I love Gilded Honey. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. This is the powder one. And I'm just going to take the, the first shade on the bottom row and use this as my bronzer. And to actually contour with, I'm going to take this cooler brown shade from the palette. Blush, I'm going to go in with the collection Blush Block. And for lips, I'm going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick in the shade Tequila Sunrise. And that is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this very vibrant and colorful look today i'm going to be doing definitely some more spring tutorials coming up so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video from me and i'll see you in my next video bye